Hi, we do know that at this point police and protesters are on the move and we believe that the protesters are now on the 110 freeway and that is where the LAPD has just made some arrests. And it also appears that there might be some police or protester activity right here on the 110 freeway on the on-ramp because we're seeing cars actually backing down the middle lanes or veering to avoid them. So we do not know what is happening right out of sight, but it appears there is something going on there. And as you said, we have now learned that one police officer was taken to the hospital after an incident at Pershing Square. We do not at this point, though, have any update on his or her condition. We want to show you, though, what it looked like earlier. At one point, there were several hundred people protesting the deaths of George Floyd in Minneapolis and Ahmed Arbery in Georgia and others. Many are chanting, I can't breathe and no justice, no peace. Most are peaceful, but some have thrown items at the LAPD and we've seen sidewalks and police cars with graffitied expletives directed at law enforcement. We also saw a handful of protesters jumping on LAPD cruisers, shattering at least one windshield. That was a fifth and all of, and the LAPD gave a dispersal order there about an hour ago. At that time, many protesters left, but others started heading towards the 110 freeway and got onto the freeway, and that's where some arrests have been made. There is a massive police presence, hundreds and hundreds of officers, even detectives have suited up in riot gear, and some are armed with rubber bullets and tear gas canisters. And back out here live, you can see the LAPD is once again on the move. We understand that the protesters might be at Olympic. We are monitoring the situation. It is still very fluid. We'll be here all night, and we will, of course, bring you the latest. Live in downtown LA, I'm Christy Fajardo. Let's send it back to you.